All right, so I have here the tweeter wires. I already cut, snip off the ends. All right, so this is the end here. This is the uh, the driver side, obviously. So on the driver side, the the one with the black line there, that's the positive. Um, and the other one is the negative. Um, so here's my uh, my uh, A pillar um, cover with the tweeter right there. And you see, uh, they already have, I don't know, I have it uh, already set up. So basically, I'm using this type of uh, electrical plug and that has a male and female. And they actually, they overlap each other. The plastic cover overlaps each other. So that's one of the things I wanted. I was going to use a bullet type, but the bullet type, when they connect together, right where they connect, that's like a little slit of uh, like a tiny little slit of metal exposed, and I, I didn't want to. I didn't want that. I didn't want to risk anything. I want to make sure that it was uh, basically uh, no no metal exposed. All right, so I have here my base blocker from Crutchfield, obviously, and this one is a I think a. Uh, let's see what uh what amp what uh. What um. There it is. Five five thousand hertz. So basically anything above 5,000 Hertz, uh, it will uh, let let through and everything below that. And you see the picture here, anything below 5,000 Hertz, it doesn't let through. Anything above that, it lets through. Uh, so that's good there. You know, our ears, you know, our hearing range, the average human hearing range is between 20 Hertz and 20,000 Hertz. And 20 Hertz is bass and, you know, 20,000 Hertz is very high frequency so anyway so I got one of those in there and then actually it comes with another wire that's in here but that you know with a black wire which is the negative side uh, that's basically just a uh, it's just a wire that goes straight through so you don't need it so I don't you know so why have more wires than you need to so I took that off pulled it out and I just have it connected on the positive side on my tweeter here so positive side on tweeter um, so here so what I did here with the tweeter here now obviously I took off the the, uh, the factory tweeter because the factory tweeter actually has a little capacitor on it as well. And I think even it's even higher hertz. It's even higher hertz than this one, I think. I think it's probably like a ten thousand hertz or something like that, from what I could tell, you know, because of the size. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the the you know the JBL component tweeter, you know, part of the component speakers that I got. And you can check that out if you look at my uh, my. Uh, um, my uh, unboxing and I showed you know showed the speakers and everything so anyway so how I mounted this thing on here obviously I took off the original one how I mounted it on here is I actually used uh, double sided foam tape you know 3M double sided foam tape and I wrapped it around three times on the tweeter and I stuck it on here and I used a little flathead screwdriver to kind of like push it in um, but it's not pushed all the way in um, it's, it's pushed in almost the tweeter on here is almost touching the grill on this side, just about. I didn't have it quite touching, but not not quite there yet. I think I have a little bit of movement here, uh, but almost touching. And the reason why I don't want it to touch is because over time, the touching is gonna, you know, from the vibration and stuff. You know, when you when the car is driving on, it will move and rub, and, and over time, it's gonna, you know, it's, it's gonna make noise basically. So I have it about probably I would say probably about a millimeter off of there, so it doesn't touch. So that way, there won't be any noise. Uh, so there it is, like so. Uh, let me see, how am I gonna wrap this thing? I think I'm gonna wrap it something like this. Um, and the other factory wire is gonna plug in like so, I think, somewhere like that, or somewhere here. And this over here, I'm gonna plug something like, you know, something like this. Um, so I need to actually I need to, maybe need to tape this down or something and you know, do something with this end otherwise it's gonna be it's gonna be floppy and, and it might make some noise as well it might rattle as well uh, actually let's see if I, what I could do right now let's see mm, so I'm gonna probably wrap this around right here like so get that wire out of the way leave this right here I'm gonna wrap this thing around again, double time, 
just because why not um, so this is gonna be right here that well, other plug is gonna be right here because the other, the other plug is very short this right here is the, the cable holder for the uh, for the coming out from the, the a pillar um, let's see what else what I do something like that maybe this is a little more If this will fit like like this or not, because this might be in the way when you when you try to put this together. Maybe maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's, this is going to be in the way or not. Uh, looking at it, looking at it, it might not be in the way. Or I could double back, double back like so. Double back like so, and uh, I don't know if it's gonna, this is gonna touch anything or not. That's the problem. Uh, so, anyways, so I'm gonna figure this out, and when you guys do it, you guys could probably figure it out too. So I'm gonna put it somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm gonna put it to, to so that way it doesn't, uh, it doesn't rub on against anything. I'm looking at the um, I'm looking at the A pillar and it seems like there's nothing here that's that's down in down in this area. And that's above the tweeter here. This is still no space and that's enough space right there like so. Uh, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach this one. I might just get some tape, get that same double sided tape and stick it on the back side of this. And just kind of yeah, that's, I think that's gonna do. Get that same double sided tape, and I'm just gonna stick it right there, like so. And the reason why I use double sided tape instead of something else, because you know it's it's you know it's a double sided foam tape, so it it, uh, it won't make any noise in, in its in its stay. Uh, if you use say uh, hot glue, for example, you know in a car on a hot summer day, you know when if it's 100 degrees out in a car, it could get really hot hot enough that the hot glue will melt. Uh, I don't I don't want to use caulking, you know the silicone caulking, like you know like bathroom. Cocking. I didn't want to use that because it's kind of a mess. Just like the hot glue, it's just gonna be kind of a mess. So, uh, so that's why I used the double sided tape. I think this works fine it's, and it's pretty solid in there too. So yeah, so I'm gonna use double sided tape on this one, and uh, and that's it. Um, so all I need to do is just plug these in. And how I have these things, how I have the crimp connector is that um, how I have the crimp connector here. Is that the positive side? The positive side I made it as a male on here. Positive side is a male, and the negative side is a female. So that means on the speaker wire itself, it's it's going to be the opposite of that. So the positive side is a female, and the negative side is a, a male. So that way you know it mates, and that way you don't have, you plug these two in. You never have to worry about um, if, you, if you're plugging in properly or not. You know, because because if, if you try to make uh, you try to make like for example both of these males or both of these as females on the other side wires on the other side it'd be the opposite right and you're not sure if you can mix you know mix the polarity uh so so that's why i did it, did it that way and that's a good idea to do that uh yeah so that's i'm gonna leave it at that so i'm just get some double-sided tape and uh tape this capacitor down right here and and basically plug it in and put it back in all right so thanks for watching